Hello, hello, hello. You have got me, Utes, on Club Havo Forum, teaching you how to do an Ajax loader. Right, refresh. Let's get rid of my bookmarks. Click about, up the about page. Well, I think that's cacked actually anyway, because I recorded this video like three times already and I, yeah, it's been messing me around. Anyway, we've got a basic page. We want to do an Ajax loader. jQuery.com. Wait for my super fast internet to load. Alright, down, oh, the cursor's flashing, I'm recording, no, no, how annoying. Oh, I could have clicked download, J oh, I missed it, oh well. Download the latest one, what is it, minified, just for production purposes. Oh, can I, can I, can I just drag this, oh, I'm going to copy it, I can't be bothered to download, oh, yeah, there you go, save file. My computer, where have I got my, e I'm, I'm using XAMP people, so I'm going to my local host, obviously. Uh, oh, flip, go on ahead of myself, YouTube. And save. Da, 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 da. We've got it in there. Close to that. Now we've got it here. First things first, as you all know. Script src equals f2. Copy that. Chuck it in there. Type equals text JavaScript. Close it. Now we've got the jQuery file in the page. Now I'm going to quickly create a core file. Notice that I have extensions included, you might not have that, so you might have to do it a different way. Call it JS, make it, drag it in, and I've got that for in a minute. Now to turn these links into actual working, oh wow, how slow is this? Into actually actual working links. Now that's pretty simple actually. Firstly, I'm just going to put on click equals return false. Now I think that if you don't have that, then in Chrome it messes you about and starts trying to load the actual page rather than the Ajax thing. I'm speaking from experience because that happened to me and I fixed it by doing that. Anyway, now we're going to put an ID on the navigation because that's how we're going to call it. This is all the document order module. If you don't know what the document order module is, then don't even bother looking at this. Just turn it off now, okay? You need to have an idea of CSS and all that because it's just impossible to understand it otherwise. Well, for some people, anyway. Now I'm going to put ID equals content. That's where I'm going to have my content going, okay? That's where the page is going to get loaded into. That, this bit, is my this this blue blue div this I can't highlight it that blue div and then the navigation is this div which is the top bit obviously which I created earlier now we've got all that sorted it's so easy it's so simple go into core.js which we need to put in here first script src equals core.js type equals text JavaScript. it has to go at the bottom right because if you have it at the top it won't process it will not, I don't know what it's called process the links is it it's outline JavaScript this I'm sure someone will correct me. Now I do a dollar sign, open brackets, and then I put speech marks. Now, I'm going to be using the navigation, that's what it's called, because that's where the links are, and it's an ID. So an ID, I will use a pound sign, whatever you want to call it. If I had um, class equals navigation, I'd use a dot on there. I'd be like dot class. Because I'm using an ID, I'll use an ID, a pound sign. Oh, it's going dry here. Control V, paste the navigation, and it's navigation as you document order module people know it's an A, so navigation A, same as CSS then I do dot click which is an event you can find them on jQuery, I'll show you quickly how for those of you who don't know oh if I can spell you literally just go on jQuery.com and you can look at the documentation, it's so easy to learn, seriously guys it's sound of American saying guys, but you go to events and you've got all the events you can do here like what have you got, you've got, I've never used bind before like you've got hover and toggle and blur etc Anyway, we're going to be using click, so let's chuck that away. Dot click, open brackets. I'll, this is how I do. I type function, then open curly braces. Line break, line break, line break, line break. Little thing, semicolon. Now I'm going to do it to make it simple. I'm going to put a variable page equals this dot attribute. Oh, href, which basically that applies to the link you clicked. It's href, which is this. It's hard to explain to newbie people, but yeah, the link I'll click it goes to the href, that's all I can really say. And then you just do, what's the name of the div we're loading into? We've got, it's called content, remember? So we copy content, put a dollar sign. This is this is how you select them, by the way. Oh, pound sign because it's an ID. That's how you select them. And then you put a dot, and then you it's called load. It's like a built-in function. It's an, you can you can actually look at the, doc, uh, the documentation. I'll go on it once more. This will be the last time I go on it now, because otherwise I'll, I'm not surprised if you're tuning out right now. You get documentation. This comes under, I think you've got an Ajax section. Oh, I haven't looked at this in ages. Right, you've got Ajax, and you've got, here you've got load. See, that's a basic HTML file, it's proper easy. 
you've got a massive tutorial here. It tells you how to do it. Look, dot load. That's all it is. So literally, it's just dot load, and then you, you can put in page because that loading page will load the href of the link you've clicked. Now, I'm gonna quickly make the pages. What have we got? We've got home.html. Home.html. Let me move it over. About.html. Contact.html. Oh dear, maybe I shouldn't have done that on my blooming computer. Got in filming as well. Okay, here we go. Contact. Oh, page here. About. Page here. Home. Page here. Now, once again, check over my core. My core seems fine. Seems to be fine. I'll refresh it. Let's see if it works. Oh, one, one more thing. I like to put in return false in here just as well, just to make it finish off the ensemble. Click the links and. Oop. I'm lagging. They do work though. About contact. All loading in. Nice and I actually see nothing's changing. Then, yeah, it's pretty simple. There's other ways of doing it. I don't, I'm trying to think what else you might want to do. You could have it so I'll get complex here actually. You're not gonna if you don't want to know anything more complex, actually I'm gonna do it in another video, sorry. I'm improvising here guys. If you need any more videos, tell me what to do, tell me what you want to do, and I will show you how to do them on video. Time for me to figure out how to stop recording. I uh, <laughs> was it F F ten. Okay, thank you for listening guys. This is Utes on Club Hubble Forum. Enjoy.